Welcome to this Repreet tutorial. I'm Colin, and today I'm going to take you through tagging a document for signatures with Ratify by Repreet. Once you have selected your signers and dragged your document into the documents for signing, you're ready to tag the document for signatures. So click on this blue button, and we've now entered the document for electronic signing. You'll select your signers here at the top. You can select all of your signers. You can select none of your signers, or you can select your signers individually. For every signer that is selected up here, one element will be dragged into the document. For example, if we just choose Lee and drag a signature element in, Lee is the only signer that we see. To remove an element, drag it back to its origin. If we select both signers and drag that same element in, two elements will appear. You're also able to manipulate these elements as you need by clicking on them and dragging, creating as much space as you'd like. And you can also see that the element has been assigned to one of the signers, their name appearing below. The elements that you have to choose from are your sign, initial, timestamp, text field, strike through, and checkbox elements. You can also manipulate the font of these elements and that includes the text field and the timestamp. A few of the elements do require that you have at least one signer selected. That includes the sign, initial, and timestamp elements. However, the text field strike through and checkbox element do not require the assignment of a signer. And to give an example of the font, we'll grab a text field, drop it in here. You can change the size as you need it. And we'll grab another one for this numerical amount here. Make that a little bit smaller. And go ahead and enter your text. If we were to change our font style and size, you'll notice that that changes within both of the fields. And that's just something to keep in mind when you're making those changes throughout your document. Let's add a few more elements in here. So we're going to initial each page. So we'll select both of our signers, come down to the bottom of page one, and we'd like both of them to initial that page. Again, you can see the assignment of the initials to individual signers. You're able to drag that element if you want to create a little bit more room between the initials, and you can change the size of that box as needed. If we continue down to the final page, which we can do by selecting the final page in this right-hand column, and we'll drag some signatures in here. If we wanted to timestamp those signatures, we could drag that element in and line up the assigned timestamp with the assigned signature. And to demonstrate the strike through, we'll select none of our signers, drag that into the document, and you can drag that strike through across as much information as you need to cross out from your document. Do the same with that checkbox, we'll just drop it off here. Currently it's an open checkbox. If you wanted to assign it to one of your signers, you could also do that dragging that element in, and you'll see it has been assigned to that second signer. Now this document for electronic signing has been created. So if we close out of here, we'll see that document for electronic signing here. This yellow lets us know that the document for electronic signing has been created, but is currently in an edit phase and hasn't been sent to anyone. Click back in there. You'll still see all of those changes that we've made. You do also have the option to edit a session, which we'll go over in a later video. So if all the elements that you need are in here, we are ready to send that document for signatures. Go ahead and click send. You'll notice that that document for electronic signing has turned to green, meaning the document has been sent. And you have successfully sent that document for signatures with Ratify by Repree. For more tutorials, please visit our support page or click on the green help tab and one of our agents would be happy to assist you. Upgrade to premium and receive unlimited phone support, create activities checklists, send your clients service reports, and send electronic feedback requests for showings put on by other agents. Subscribe to premium today.